Hello everyone. In this video, I will be showing you how to use NordVPN on the PC. Now, if you're new to VPNs, you will find this video to be helpful as I'll be explaining some of the functions and features of NordVPN so that you can better utilize NordVPN by understanding what it does. And this information will also apply to other VPNs that share the same features. And if at any point you'd like to check for links or pricing, you'll find all of that in the description below. So once you open the application, you'll find a map view and a list of countries and servers on the side. And to connect to any of them, simply click on your country of choice, either on the map or you could use the search bar or list on the side. And that's how you change your IP address and access different servers. There are well over 5,000 servers in 59 countries in NordVPN, so you've definitely got some variety to choose from. Now let's get you to understand what all of the other options are for. And I'll start with the specialty servers. Dedicated IP servers will give you access to a few dedicated IPs with fewer traffic in them and much less load. A dedicated IP will allow you to always return to the same virtual location and IP address. And if you need a personal IP address, you can even request your own dedicated IP from NordVPN for $70 a year. Double VPN will route your connection through two servers or two different IP addresses rather than just one for an extra layer of security. But that will, of course, come at the cost of lower speeds. So if your base speed isn't quick enough, this might not be an ideal feature for you. Onion over VPN servers will allow your traffic to go through one of Nord's servers pass through the Onion network and then reach the internet. And that will link you to the Tor network without having to download the Tor browser. Peer-to-peer -peer servers specifically cater towards peer-to-peer -to -peer activity, such as torrenting. But that's not to say that normal servers don't support torrenting. In my personal experience, I found that regular servers, more often than not, are faster than peer-to-peer -peer servers when it comes to downloading torrents. But you may have a different experience depending on your connection. So already, Nord is offering features more than most VPNs, and I haven't even checked the settings yet, where in the General tab, you will find a few options, the most notable of which, the CyberSec option, which you'll want to toggle on, since you can never go wrong with keeping it on, despite how effective it may or may not be. For maximum ad blocking, you'll want to combine that with an independent ad blocker. In the next tab, the first option will give you the choice of which network you'd like to connect to when you launch NordVPN. And in the protocols list, you'll find three protocols to choose from, and you could just select the automatic option. But if you want to understand these protocols a little bit more and what they're for, the recommended option, which is Nord Lynx, which is Nord's WireGuard based protocol. WireGuard protocols are fairly recent but they are rather advanced in their speed and security and surpass OpenVPN quite a bit in speed and they use less battery on mobile devices. And that's definitely the one you're going to want to use if you want the best experience overall. Now, the OpenVPN UDP protocol is the one you'll want to choose if you want to go for the proven protocol in terms of security while maintaining high speeds. Since the independent audits that took place in the past were done on the OpenVPN protocol and it is evidently the protocol to choose when prioritizing security. Now TCP will offer even more security but at significantly lower speeds which is why it is not used very often. Now in the kill switch tab you will find the traditional kill switch which you will find in most reliable VPNs which will sever your internet connection in case your VPN connection disconnects for any unexpected reason, which will prevent your information from getting leaked when you least expect it, especially if you don't want your ISP to pry on your traffic if you're living in a country with strict online censorship or laws. Nord also has another type of kill switch called the app kill switch. And this is for those of you who don't want their entire connection to get cut, but rather just have selected applications terminated when the VPN disconnects. That can be useful when torrenting, for example, but you're also streaming and don't want your stream to stop in the case where the VPN disconnects. The app kill switch can also be paired with split tunneling, which will let you choose which apps will use the VPN and which won't. Say you want to torrent, but you only want your torrenting client to use the VPN. This will allow you to do that without affecting your general network. And in the final tab, which hosts two useful features, custom DNS, this gives users an easy way to change their DNS on the fly, 
People use different DNS servers for many reasons, one of which is to increase connection speeds, for example. If you're having trouble with your ISP's clogged up servers, you could use a different DNS to improve your connection. Many people use the popular Google DNS servers, and depending on your location and how close you are to the servers, you might get slightly better connection speeds. Obfuscated servers are used to bypass VPN blocking firewalls. A VPN will remove all information related to a VPN from your data so that it looks like regular data packets. That way, your ISP won't be able to tell that you're using a VPN in the first place. And while this mode is on, it will limit you to a handful of servers, though this will only be useful to those that live in restrictive countries with strict censorship laws. Previously, obfuscated servers only worked with OpenVPN UDP, but in the recent update, they changed that to TCP, which can help with security, but will significantly cut down on your speed. Though having asked Nord's support, they did state that this is a temporary change as they're running some maintenance on their servers and that UDP will be able to run the obfuscated servers again soon. And lastly, invisibility on LAN will give you the option to be invisible on the local network, though you want to keep this one off if you have any wireless connections to your PC, such as printers, TVs, or other PCs. And that concludes the video. Now that you have a better understanding of what Nord's features can offer, hopefully you can make use of and take Take full advantage of every feature. And again, if you haven't gotten your subscription yet and are interested, you'll find links to special deals and discounts in the description below. Besides that, I hope you learned something in this video. If you did, please like and subscribe as it'll be major help for the channel. And comment if you have any questions. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.